The incident involving a Chinese fighter jet and a U.S. Navy P-8 Poseidon reconnaissance aircraft in August 2023 is a significant event that reflects the growing tensions in the South China Sea, particularly near the Paracel Islands. This area is strategically important due to its location and the overlapping territorial claims, making it a hotspot for military activity. The Chinese jet, part of the People's Liberation Army Air Force, PLAF, executed a high-risk maneuver by flying within 500 feet of the U.S. aircraft. This proximity is critical because at the high speeds these jets operate, any small miscalculation could lead to a mid-air collision with potentially catastrophic consequences. The P-8 Poseidon was on a surveillance mission, a routine operation aimed at monitoring the region's maritime activities. Such missions are essential for gathering intelligence and ensuring freedom of navigation in international waters, which the U.S. and its allies view as vital for maintaining regional stability. However, China's claim over nearly the entire South China Sea, despite international rulings to the contrary, puts it at odds with other nations operating in the area. The Chinese pilot's aggressive maneuver can be seen as part of a broader strategy to intimidate and deter U.S. military operations, reinforcing China's claims over the contested waters. The incident underscores the tactical risks inherent in such close encounters. Military aircraft, especially those from rival nations operating in such proximity, create a volatile situation where even the slightest error or miscommunication could escalate into a larger conflict. The encounter also highlights the challenges faced by the U.S. in balancing the need to assert international law and the risks of provoking a hostile response from China, a rising military power with increasing influence in the region. Number one. U.S. Navy's Strategic Response The U.S. Navy's strategic response during the incident involving the Chinese fighter jet was a calculated display of restraint and professionalism. The crew aboard the P-8 Poseidon, well-trained for such encounters, immediately identified the potential threat as the Chinese jet closed in at a dangerously close distance. Recognizing the gravity of the situation, the crew attempted to establish communication with the Chinese pilot, a standard procedure aimed at de-escalating tensions and preventing misinterpretations that could lead to an international incident. The message conveyed by the U.S. Navy crew was clear. They intended to continue their lawful mission in international airspace and requested that the Chinese jet maintain a safe distance to avoid any potential collision. This communication was critical as it demonstrated the U.S. Navy's commitment to adhering to international law and ensuring that their operations were conducted transparently and responsibly. Despite the absence of a response from the Chinese pilot, the U.S. Navy aircraft did not alter its course. This decision was rooted in the broader strategic objectives of the U.S. military, particularly in contested regions like the South China Sea. By maintaining their course, the crew reinforced the principle of freedom of navigation, a cornerstone of U.S. policy in the Indo-Pacific region. This stance is essential for countering China's increasingly assertive territorial claims and ensuring that international waters and airspace remain accessible to all nations. Moreover, the P-8 Poseidon's crew was fully aware that any sign of retreat or hesitation could be perceived as a weakness, potentially emboldening further aggressive actions by China. The decision to continue the mission despite the close proximity of the Chinese jet was a deliberate demonstration of resolve, signaling to China and the international community that the U.S. would not be easily deterred from its operations. This approach is indicative of the U.S. Navy's broader strategy in the region, which balances assertiveness with caution to avoid unnecessary escalation while still protecting national interests. Number 2. Geopolitical Implications and Historical Context the encounter between the Chinese fighter jet and the U.S. Navy aircraft is emblematic of a broader, long-term strategic contest in the South China Sea. This region has been a central point of tension not only because of its abundant natural resources, such as oil, gas, and fisheries, but also due to its strategic importance as a maritime route. Approximately one-third of global shipping passes through these waters, which accounts for about $3.4 trillion in trade annually. 
This makes control over the South China Sea crucial for economic and military influence in the Asia-Pacific region. China's aggressive military maneuvers, including the close encounters with U.S. and Allied aircraft, are part of a calculated strategy to assert its dominance over the region. By conducting these risky operations, China aims to challenge the presence of foreign military forces, particularly those of the United States, and to reinforce its extensive territorial claims. Despite international rulings such as the 2016 Permanent Court of Arbitration decision that invalidated China's broad claims under the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, UNCLOS, Beijing has continued to solidify its presence by building and militarizing artificial islands. These installations are equipped with runways, missile systems, and advanced radar, effectively turning these features into unsinkable aircraft carriers that extend China's power projection capabilities. Historically, the South China Sea has been a contested space, but recent years have seen a marked increase in China's willingness to use its growing military power to unilaterally alter the status quo. The U.S., along with its allies and partners, has responded with Freedom of Navigation Operations, FUNOPS, aimed at challenging China's excessive maritime claims and ensuring that these critical waters remain open for international trade and navigation. These operations often lead to close encounters as China seeks to deter these missions through shows of force, including shadowing and harassing military aircraft and vessels. This dynamic has broader implications for regional security and global stability. The South China Sea is a critical flashpoint where the interests of several major powers converge, and any miscalculation or unintended escalation in such close encounters could potentially trigger a larger conflict. The international community remains concerned about the possibility of an arms race in the region as countries like Vietnam and the Philippines, which also have claims in the South China Sea, may feel compelled to strengthen their military capabilities in response to China's actions. The ongoing militarization and the frequency of these encounters highlight the precarious balance of power in the region and underscore the importance of diplomatic engagement to manage these tensions and prevent conflict. Number 3. Military and Diplomatic Repercussions the military and diplomatic repercussions of the incident between the Chinese fighter jet and the U.S. Navy aircraft are profound and multifaceted. Militarily, such close encounters in a region as strategically vital as the South China Sea significantly elevate the risks of accidental conflict. These near-miss situations create a highly volatile environment where a split-second misjudgment could lead to an escalation involving not only the immediate parties, but also their respective allies. The U.S. Indo-Pacific Command has documented a concerning increase in such incidents since 2021, with Chinese military actions becoming more frequent and aggressive. This trend indicates a shift in China's operational tactics aimed at challenging U.S. military dominance in the region and testing the resolve of U.S. forces. These incidents are more than just isolated events. They are part of a broader pattern of military posturing by China, which seeks to assert its territorial claims and project power within the Indo-Pacific. The close proximity of military aircraft during these encounters raises the likelihood of accidents that could spiral into larger military engagements. For example, a collision between aircraft could trigger a chain of retaliatory actions, quickly escalating into a broader conflict, especially given the dense concentration of military assets in the region. On the diplomatic front, these military tensions have direct implications for U.S.-China relations. Each incident exacerbates existing tensions, making diplomatic negotiations more challenging. The U.S. sees its operations in the South China Sea as a fundamental part of maintaining international law and supporting allies like the Philippines and Vietnam, who are also embroiled in territorial disputes with China. For these allies, U.S. presence is crucial for balancing China's growing influence, which they perceive as a direct threat to their sovereignty. China, on the other hand, views these U.S. operations as provocative and an infringement on its sovereign claims. The Chinese government has repeatedly condemned U.S. freedom of navigation operations, FONOPS, as destabilizing and has used these incidents to justify its military buildup in the region. This dynamic creates a vicious cycle where military actions provoke diplomatic responses, which in turn justify further military posturing. 
These ongoing tensions complicate broader diplomatic efforts to manage the U.S.-China relationship, already strained over issues such as trade, human rights, and Taiwan. The South China Sea, being a critical nexus of global trade and military strategy, thus becomes a flashpoint that could undermine not only regional stability, but also global security. Number four, long-term strategic considerations. The long-term strategic implications of these repeated close encounters in the South China Sea are deeply concerning for global security. The South China Sea, due to its strategic location and significant natural resources, serves as a critical junction in the international security framework. The increasing militarization by China, coupled with the consistent presence of U.S. military forces, sets the stage for potential conflicts that could have global repercussions. The frequency and intensity of these incidents are symptomatic of the broader geopolitical struggle between the U.S. and China, each vying for influence in the Indo-Pacific region. These encounters underscore the risks inherent in great power competition, particularly in a multipolar world where miscalculations can lead to unintended escalations. As both nations continue to build up their military capabilities in the region, the potential for a small incident to spiral into a larger conflict grows. This is exacerbated by the fact that both countries have deeply entrenched positions on sovereignty and territorial claims, with China refusing to budge on its extensive claims over the South China Sea and the U.S. determined to uphold international law and freedom of navigation. The strategic challenge for the U.S. and its allies lies in deterring Chinese aggression without provoking a military confrontation. This requires a delicate balance of power projection and diplomatic engagement. Military preparedness is essential to signal resolve, but it must be accompanied by sustained diplomatic efforts to keep communication channels open and prevent incidents from escalating. The U.S. and its partners need to enhance their strategic dialogue with China, focusing on establishing clear rules of engagement in the South China Sea to avoid misunderstandings that could lead to conflict. Furthermore, these incidents highlight the importance of regional security frameworks and alliances. The U.S. must continue to work closely with its allies, including Japan, Australia, and the ASEAN nations, to build a collective security architecture that can effectively manage and mitigate the risks posed by China's growing military presence. This includes enhancing intelligence sharing, joint military exercises, and coordinated diplomatic efforts to present a unified front.